Welcome back to In Other Waters. Let's continue exploring this abandoned Baikal base. Uh, we can go over here and ascend, but before that, there's more to explore down here. Broken pipe. This pipe, now filled with sand, looks like it exploded outwards, taking the glass atrium wall with it. Buried office. With a prime view of the atrium, this had to be the office of someone important within the arcology. Now it's just another derelict room. A. Btiev. I understand, sir. No, we are prepared to follow erasure protocols. The site is already sealed, with all hands present. So this is... This is... Uh, someone from within talking about... Erasing the entire place, sealing it, and I think killing everyone. Including themselves? Sealed crates. Metal boxes sit on powered pallets, abandoned mid-transit. What were they moving in and out of this place? Cave-in. The rock and sand covers the rusted metal of the arcology so completely that it's hard to know where the facility ends and the caves begin. Bright spirals. The walls here are covered in spiraling patterns, an obscure lexicon written in glistening trails of mucus. I've already got these secretions. These give us oxygen, right? Yes. Let's grab another one for good measure. One for the road. Cave complex. Here, the collapsing arcology walls have broken through into an existing cave complex deep beneath the ocean floor. I'm thinking this might actually be quite a big thing over here. Should I go back and go up? Let's go take a peek. What's up here? This is a whole thing. Yeah. But, oh, wait a second. I can't go back down. Just loaded a safe so I can get back down here. I am not going to miss whatever's in this cave. Twisting passage. The caves lead away from the bulk of the arcology, wrapping themselves through the solid rock of the planet's crust. Deep tunnels. The sand filling this tunnel turns it into a dark horizontal slit, but I can detect a current running into it. How deep do these caves lead? Passage. The spirals here are smaller and more interwoven than elsewhere in the arcology. Layer after layer forms a patina of circular marks. P. 
pale skin. A large molted skin is piled in the corner of the cave, fragments of it drifting away across the sand. What creature left this here? Yes, unique sample. We're full right now, right? Yep, so let's use one of these. Ancient passages. These caves look ancient and deep. Is this where the creatures now inside the arcology came from? Did the breach release them? Okay, that's it. Let's get a speed boost. Broken windows stare out of the atrium into the upper floors, where white paneled walls resist the rust. Atrium statue. At the top of the basalt pillar, a miniature statue of a Baikal suit stands heroically. What the hell was this place? broken glass. The aquarium glass of the atrium is shattered, leaving only glinting shards in the orange rust-stained silt. Seating area. Around the atrium, some of these seating areas remain flooded with sand. It's easy to imagine lab techs meeting here on their lunch. This whole facility destroyed. Buried. Erased. Was this what Mane was looking for in the deep of the ocean? But how does she even know it was here? I feel like I'm swimming through other people's secrets. A. Bendik. I'm sure it's just a standard security drill, Mr. Fidenza. We'll be able to return you to the other shareholders shortly. G. Fidanza. The financial implications are massive. We have never even come close to achieving this level of computation before. Fused window. A crippled metal shutter has rusted over the hole left by the broken window. A security measure which, in the end, meant nothing. Biohazard boxes. A transporter has spilled its load of biohazard containers in a faded but unmistakable neon yellow. What was happening here? sand adrift. The grubby white paneling gives way to golden sand and rock, bursting out from within the rooms themselves. The struts supporting the window have corroded away, their uncoated metal now furred with rust. Hey, Rom, Rome. We owe the artificers nothing. We can't even prove their sentience. They're a material. One by call has every right to exploit. Fuckers. Ooh. 
Lab entry west. Even in its sorry state, the paneling and double ceiling lock suggests a Baikal lab. Machines glint against the wall. Sand drifts. This side of the lab is layered with sweeping sand covering the layers of ornate machinery. Broken wall. Here the wall seems to have breached through to a cave system, opened up during the breach. Cave entrance. A dark and rough slit behind the lab's paneling leads into the bedrock of the planet. Fractured cave. Deep cracks lead into the dark, and a handful of tracks suggest creatures come and go here. Is this the source of the initial breach? Listening bubble. This cave system must connect to others under the slopes, allowing creatures to come and go. Uh. Mucus bubble. We've had those before. Do we have any on us? Doesn't look like it. It's the only bubble looking thing, but that's a spiral secretion. I don't think I can get rid of any of this. Is any of this not unique? I think that's unique. That's definitely unique. I don't think I can get rid of anything. Of course, this isn't a new sample, so we don't absolutely need it, but... Yeah, I kind of hope we don't find another unique sample, otherwise I'm not going to be able to take it. Broken panels. The cave and the room have merged here, so it's hard to tell one from the other. Was this cave here before the breach? Cave in. The rooms here have been buried in rock, leaving only the shattered passage between them and this cave. Sandy concourse. Huge slabs of rock have fallen here erasing the boundary between the lab and the dark cave surrounding it. Collapse corridor. The ceiling here bulges with the weight of the rock above, the walls of sand curling inwards. Buried lab. The entirety of this room is lost beneath layers of sand. The bars of a metal frame, like bent and broken ribs, poke out of the drift. Biohazard boxes. The acid yellow containers shine brightly in the suit's lamps. Streaks of rust along their sides show they've sealed with time. Security iris. Sand piles against the barrier, sealed by the emergency override when the arcology was breached. entry hall. The ceiling of the entry hall is partially collapsed, its gridwork of girders bent and rusted. Rusted platform. The rusted, the rust choked hall stretches out in the dark below. Wrecks and rocks lie in the shadows and silt. Oh, we can go down here. Okay, well not yet. We're running disturbingly low on oxygen. A 
Hope I find some more mucus secretions. That's not what was here, right? It was mucus bubble? Yeah. I don't have any on me, so I can't replace something. If I release it, it'll just be gone. Mineral skeletons. Ornate geometric skeletons like those found in the bloom. Manet called them artificers. What are they doing down here? They're using them as a resource, studying them. Artificer skeletons. They were using them. Harvesting them. The equipment here. They were building something. Slicing and etching the artificer skeletons. But what? Can these geodesic spheres really be valuable enough to build a whole arcology around? And then to bury it? Sphere fragments. Oh. Ah, oh, sphere fragments. Give tons of oxygen. But I have to release something to get them. Oh, man. Maybe tail segment? I want the earlier stuff that'll be easier to get to. Not the stuff that came from down here. I need more oxygen. I kind of almost have to do this. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Maybe I don't. Maybe we'll find some more mucus secretion things. Collapsed panels. Half the lab is drowned in sand and etcher ripped apart by the collapse. This place was almost totally buried, wiped from existence. E. Santiago. We have to power down. If the shielding is breached, it could blow out the whole facility. Start shutdown now. V. Kobeck. Protect the specimens. These skeletons alone are able to correlate millions of cubits. They're irreplaceable. The skeletons were being used for processing? Workstations. Sealed cups still sit on the surface. Stylus is buried in layers of silver silt. Hardware corroded into lumpen piles. Okay, no, we need the spear fragments. was a computing lab. All these machines are for hardware fabrication. Lab locks. Why didn't these close when the arcology was breached? Were they opened afterwards? The lockdown overridden somehow? Lab entry. Security locks lie wide open, giving a clear view of the laboratory equipment beyond. Atrium walkway. Unlike the lower level, the walls here have resisted the corrosion, their matte white coverings stained with orange but unbroken. Ah. 
Northern Lab. The huge entryway suggests this is the complex's main lab. Faded Baikal markings explain procedures for entry and decontamination. Security Iris. While the main locks are open, the entryway is sealed with a hastily installed security iris. We should be able to cut through. Shattered doorway. The glass door here was violently shattered by the breach, breaking open what looks like a clean room. Ruined fabricator. This looks like a suit fabricator, but retooled to build large-scale machinery. Its buckled plates reveal a crimson interior fused by rust. Suitcases. Like blocky coffins, these containers are still used by Baikal to ship their suits to active facilities. These are empty. Oh, our power's kind of low. Eh, we'll be fine. Probably, maybe. Bossmans. The Artificers. With them, we could rewrite life as we wish. And Aeon replies, We could rewrite it to endure, Lucas. To surpass us. Programming Lab. Rows of chairs and corroded consoles scattered across the tabletops. Precisely machined components thick with silt. El Fiorentini. Take the suit, Akari. Stop arguing. Without you, this project is dead anyway. Oki needs to survive. My call work suit. A lightweight lab suit sits propped in a chair. Sediment drifts from gashes in the soft material. Hollow sockets in the helmet faceplate. The suit is tagged. Akari Nomura. Mane Nomura? Akari Nomura? I don't understand. How? It's impossible. It's her. It's Manet's mother. This is why Manet came here. She was looking for her mother. She's been here a long time. Decades. Has Manet been looking for her all this time? God, Manet, why didn't you say something? Anything? I can't... <sighs> Give me a minute. Akari Nomura. My little Manet, I'm sorry to leave you all alone. Sing a little for your mother. It's so quiet here. Akari Nomura's lab. The lab is ripped apart, plates buckled outwards, massive coolant pipes breached, twisted metal now browned with age. Baikal casing. A long yellow cylinder marked with turquoise glyphs. Identical to the casing mounted on the back of this suit. Our suit. This is the same cylindrical casing as the one mounted on this suit. The same casing that houses you. 
Akari was building this. Building it from artificers. Building it with the machines in this arcology. She was... Building you. This is you. One of you, at least. A draft. An earlier version. A prototype. Akari is your mother. Your creator. Did you know this? Did you know about any of this? No. Actually, I can't say no. Oh, I can't say anything. I think that's because my controller died. <laughs> Oops. God, I can't think. How can I trust you? Were you just using me? We need to go. I don't want to be here anymore, please. No, I really want to have said no. I really want to have said no, I didn't know about this. I couldn't. My controller died. <laughs> Mm, hold on, I might be able to do something about this. Ah, oh, it did work. I forced closed the game so it wouldn't save. It still sort of saved some stuff, but it looks like it didn't save this. Good. Did you know this? Did you know about any of this? No. Then you... forgot? You malfunctioned? God, I can't think. We need to go. I don't want to be here anymore, please. I know they want to go, but we gotta explore everything here. Also, when I reloaded, for some reason all my power and oxygen was back. That's convenient. Coolant pipe. The inside of the pipe bulges with corroded growth. It stretches up towards the surface, and a faint circle of light glows above. We can go down and up here. Oh, there's so much to explore, and I don't want to miss anything. I guess... let's see where this goes? Down. I can go down more. Nothing's changing when I go down. That's weird. Wait, what? That just bugged out. I went down like four times, but I only had to go up once. And now our depth isn't correct. The depth number. That was bizarre. Are we out? Rock outcrop. Yeah, I think we're out. The surface of the basalt towers dance faintly with the blue light that falls from the surface above. They look calm. Ancient. I guess we'll go back. Open water. The slopes descend into the dark ahead, their silver silt a single plane leading towards an inevitable end. We're out. I don't know what to say. We're still in range of the ROV on the slopes. A call for pickup. Let's go home.
You're back. I'm down in medical. I disabled the quarantine. It's beautiful in here. Oki? Is that your name? Oki. Yes. I like it. Despite the history. Listen, I don't know what you're thinking right now, but I wanted to say, I trust you. I don't know what you knew about the arcology, about Baikal's history on this planet. Even your own history. But I do know that you helped me. You protected me. You guided me. I owe you for that, no matter where you came from. You didn't choose to be created, like any of us. But this place is your home. You're made from pieces of this ocean. From pieces of its past, at least. I'm learning not to be afraid of the past. I'm not afraid of her, either. Of Manet. If that is her name, no. I think she must have found something among those skeletons in the bloom. Something truly alien. It changed her. It continues to change her. But perhaps that is what's needed. Change. I found something I think you need to hear. I've been going through the Arcology data. And it wasn't the only facility on this planet. There were two other sites. Two other Baikal facilities. We need to find them. Baikal was up to something on this planet. Something bigger than just AI research. I don't want to look away. I want to see what Baikal did here with my own eyes. I've marked the site's coordinates on the dive map. We should be able to cut our way in. This is not just about Manet anymore. It's about Baikal. It's about what happened here. It's about your history and the weight it carries. I'm ready when you are. So many samples. And with that, we have a lot of updated entries. But I think I'm going to save that for the next episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to read all the taxonomy entries. Looks like we have a new crew log here. Yep. And then we're going to head back out. And go back to that original research base and finish exploring it before moving on to the two new ones. <laughs>